guys, welcome to my newest video. Thank you for clicking on it. Welcome to another Tuesday where I do another hashtag Cassie Creates, which basically just means that I am doing something where I am creating something that I found on Pinterest, Google, something you guys told me about. And today I thought I would do a science experiment. I'm really excited because I haven't done a science experiment in a really long time, and this one is called Elephant Toothpaste. Now, Elephant Toothpaste is basically just another type of volcano that erupts. So all you need to make this science experiment is a one liter soda bottle, hydrogen peroxide, yeast, dish soap, and I am using some like safety goggles and some gloves just because I heard that it can get hot and it can be a little bit dangerous. So if you are a kid, make sure you do this with your parents. I'm also going to be using some food coloring because I want my toothpaste to look kind of cool. And yeah, it seems pretty easy. Oh, you need water. Now, don't mind this really ugly looking tripod right here. This is a GoPro that I had to tape to this tripod because I wanted to get a cool shot for when this erupts. But let's go ahead and get started. I think this will be really fun. I've been wanting to do this for a pretty long time. And I do have a NASA shirt because to me, NASA is science and this is a science experiment. And yes, I did buy this shirt just for this video. But I will be wearing it throughout the rest of my life probably because I love it. First thing you're going to want to do is put on your gloves. Ah. Next, you're going to want to put on your goggles. I totally don't look like a dork with these swim goggles on. Next, you're going to go get a funnel, which Cassie forgot. <gasps> I just poured a cup of water onto the floor. Gosh darn it. All right, now that we are nice and safe, we're going to add one cup of hydrogen peroxide into this. Science. Yes, that was riveting, wasn't it? Next, you're gonna add a splash of dish soap. I'm gonna add two splashes. Boop. Boop, oops. oops. Yeah, they don't give me measurements for Apparently dish soap, I don't know. Oh, next we're going to add some food coloring. So whatever color you want it to be, I actually think I want mine to be the color of, I want mine to be red, so I'm gonna add some red food dye. Oh yeah. I'm gonna wanna swish that around. Boom, all right. Next, we're going to make our yeast. So what I got here is a cup of warm water. What we're gonna do is we're going to add, sorry, I need to take off my gloves for this. What we're going to do with this is we're going to add four and a half teaspoons of dry yeast to my one cup of water. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to stir together this oatmeal looking stuff. Don't eat it though. I don't know if that's correct. Is that right? Oops. I guess the only way to find out if we did it right is to now pour it into this. All right, so we got our yeast in here. We got our hydrogen peroxide with some dish soap and some food coloring. And we're now going to pour it into this. I'm actually a little nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe nothing will happen or maybe something super cool will happen and it'll be awesome. All right, we're going to pour this into this. Come on, something cool happened, please. Hey, that's actually really cool. It didn't blow up. I don't think I need goggles. It's really warm. I don't want to touch it. I heard it's really hot. I'm glad I put this pan down. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. Did you get that GoPro? What is it? It's like a weird foam. It's like elephant toothpaste. That's what it is. That must be where the name came from because this looks just like elephant toothpaste, right? Right. All right, let's go ahead and do this again. Okay, this time I had a different idea. I thought maybe I would do it in a smaller bottle and see if a reaction is like cooler or not. So let's do the same thing, but maybe we'll do a little bit less hydrogen peroxide. We're just testing out science, that's all. Now I'm gonna put a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide instead of a full cup just because this is a pretty small bottle. A splash of dish soap. Then while that is going into there, we're gonna mix about two and a quarter teaspoons. Oh, and so for our color this time, I wanna do two colors and see if I can, instead of mixing them together, if it'll just, if like not. All right, so I got my two colors on here. It looks super cool like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and add our mixture and see what happens. Whoa, look at it, it's purple and green, but mostly purple. <laughs> This is so cool! I totally think this is like a really cool science experiment. Look at the green and purple, it looks so much cooler. I can't even, it's hot, you can feel it, it's hot. What is this stuff? Is it okay to touch? Am I gonna hurt myself touching this? This is so cool, do you see this on here? This looks so freaking awesome. It's 
smells like toothpaste. It smells like mint. Oh, I get up my face. That's not good. It smells like mint almost. You know what I did read up on? Was that if you get a... So this is 3% hydrogen peroxide. If you get like 12% and you get, uh, what is it called? Potassium iodide or sodium iodide. And you can make it like literally blow up. So I'm actually wanting to do that. If you guys want me to do that, let me know in the comments below. I was going to do it with my dad. And we're going to like, we're going to be full blown like science going on. And it's definitely something that you shouldn't do. But I think it'd be kind of fun because I think it would just be like super cool. So let me know if you guys actually want me to do that. Whoa! Whoa! That was so cool. I mixed like the blue and yellow and it kind of just came out like a green, but I still think that looks flipping awesome. <laughs> See that? Oh, that looks so cool. It's a cool blend right now. I don't think we brushed the elephant's teeth with this, but maybe I'm wrong. Oops. <laughs> All right, I think that's me it for this video. Elephant toothpaste is actually a really cool science experiment that I think you could do with kids. If you are a kid, make sure you do this with a parent just cause like this stuff can be a little bit dangerous. But that was a lot of fun and I think I'm totally gonna do like the giant version of this and make it like epic. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video for now. If you guys liked it, give it a big old nice thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you guys wanna see more science experiments from me. And subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye guys. Oops. Doop -doo -doo -doo. Bye guys. Things you do for a good thumbnail. <sighs> oh shoot. Oh my gosh, my floor. Oh, oh my god, it's all over me now. <laughs> No! My floor! This is what happens when you try to get a good thumbnail. <sighs> Shoot! <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie. That was eventful. You guys wanna look at my floor? Look at it. How do you know a science experiment was successful? <laughs> Gosh. Oh, it's on my leg and my feet and my arm. I just want you guys to know that you guys should never do what I did because look what happened to my floor. Everyone say bye to Cassie's <laughs> apartment security deposit because I the tarp sheet that I put down soaked through. So if you're doing it, use a tarp and maybe don't put it in your apartment.